So now we can take this and basically let me copy this file. And open here another studio code instance. Okay, so opening code here, we have the application. Let me go into there. So the app is building, which means we will have the web folder here. So what I want, I want to add here on the root folder a new file. That is, let me copy and paste that. Let me close this. So file name is js.conf.json. So a new file with this configuration inside and we are going to change this to include the source slash jet dash composite inside the services as well so services in the utils folder and also the view models in i guess it's okay we have this now don't forget to also add in the package json a new script let's copy and paste it so we don't have the scripts here so we need to add the scripts in this one of course i need also to add the docs here so it will commit nothing to the git and let me clear this and npm run docs and it is not getting that because somehow I put that in the wrong place so yes it should be inside my first app okay and now it is there and I can run it and that's what I want so basically it's saying that the readme is not there and it isn't let me just create readme.md file saying this is the readme and if you run it it will probably run other errors because we don't have everything totally done for documentation so unable to find the source file or directory yes because i forgot to put gs before every one so here 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 and here yes slash okay so that's where we need to to check it basically it will say where you don't fill everything in the documentation basically in this file if you open it online 19 there is no description and you need to put this is the view model to handle the book Pause it and also line 24 the context is saying nothing down view model context and it will be an object okay then line 45 in its on the ids and it's not even used but wherever it's just for demonstration purposes in its all the labels just work some description returns the or 
power. Okay, and if you run it again, it should have less or none errors in this file. Okay, so now you need to go to book services. And when I have all of these done, I will be back to you. Okay guys, so welcome back. And now I don't have more missing tags, but I have an error because I did not put the, let me close everything. And inside the package.json, we need to have and install the uh, doc dash so we can then load it. Let me close this. There it is. Uh, and here we have doc dash as dependency. You can also move this to dev dependencies and not as dependency. And now I should be sorry, I should be able to run this properly. And now you should have the docs and let me reveal this on the final explorer and open the index this is the readme so the readme file is the home page then we have a class here that is card utils and then modules and global and why we have that in this way because in this file charts.py and book services i did not put let me open it here I don't have the tag module so we can group the, the function so I if, if I put that here with some description like this one get rid of this if I generate it again you can see that before we have one two three four five outside the main thing and if i refresh now we don't have but still we just have one module so we are missing something in the configuration let me just see where is the fetch book so inside the core and the book services so book services you need to put module and the description book services module and the other one was the core gs okay close this copy and paste oh okay it's ignore okay ba basically i forgot to remove this one so let me generate again so i don't want it to be ignored uh still seems not to be working let me put this one this one and this one okay there they are starting to be there so we have book services View model the custom book view model is there with everything on there then inside services we have book services and then customer services and then dashboard services we need to remove that dashboard also customers as you can see let me rerun this as soon as we remove the ignore tag you have more and more documentation here like dashboard view model with the functions there so on so basically if you have just a part of your documentation field it will flag you and uh, throw an error with the line where you need to fix and to put the title there you need to have the module and you can have the license you can have the author learn programming with joel 
and you can have more tags and more descriptions as you wish and if you rerun that you can go to book view model refresh and book view model here you can see the author there as well you can also use markdown as we saw in the previous video so basically you need to have the, the comments specifying the module it, it can be there or it can be attached to the function here to the, the view model sorry to the view model function so you can put it there and let's run this again and if you refresh the page you still get the same result so you can choose if you want it to be um let's say near the function definition or the class definition or if you want it as an header of your uh, javascript file it's up to you let's review this from the beginning we need to have the gs doc configuration here i'm defining that we want to use markdown and using the doc dash template with the sort search and collapse features the first two being true and the collapse being false then we want to of the following folders being uh, searched for GS files. We have the Jet Composites, the Services, the Utils, and the View Models, and also the README. There is the home page, and be aware that we are trying to get from the source. Uh, if you remember inside an Oracle Jet app, we have the source that when we build the, um, the app or when we serve the app, it will copy everything to the web and serve based on the web, but we are coding on the source folder. So we want the documentation based on the source files. For today, this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I see you in the next tutorial.